Tony Osoi Sasa Sasa and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we have this cigar from that logo looks like Crown Head, but I don't know. But yeah, so. The story is that we went to, I believe, Neptune Cigars in Miami with uh, me and Eric. And Eric picked up this one. And I didn't even notice that he did. And he said, oh, it looks interesting. So, you know, here you go. Go review this one. And I picked it over. I was like, that looks like a ZO or 20 or whatnot. And I think I didn't think too much of it. But the problem is that I don't know how to pronounce this thing. It's a good one. Family Cigar. Azizener Family Cigar Bog Bog Bofuras Bofuras Cigars OFC B52 Like this is the problem So uh, I gotta leave it to Google Hold on a second Oskiner. Oskiner. All right. Oskiner Family Cigars. Bosphorus. Bosphorus. See? Don't name your cigar something I can't pronounce, bro. Oskiner. Oskiner Family Cigar. Bosphorus. Blech. Bosphorus. Bosphorus cigar. There you go. Wow. B52 is 5x52. It has a C and H on it. Makes me want to think it's crunk head. But, you know, could be anything. So, we're going to ignore that part. Pretend that never happened. You know, sometimes just don't make the cigar name so hard where nobody can pronounce anything. Here's a cigar. Very interesting look to it. I think the band is very like, I don't know, happy. Almost look like international kind of thing. It's got two heads. We'll show we'll show this band later. But a little bit of information on the cigar would be 5x52, MSRP 1275. 1275. And the wrapper is Ecuadorian. Binder is Ecuadorian Nicaragua and filler is Nicaragua. Now I think I read Is there more information on that? What what kind of Ecuadorian that was? Ecuadorian Sumatra. There we go. Binders Ecuadorian Connecticut and Nicaragua Jalapa. And or Jalapa, whatever that is. Filler is Nicaragua, Esteli, Alabai, Ometepe. Mm, the Vitola says. The Vitola is. Yeah. It's a Robusto. They do have a Robusto extra, so we'll see where that goes, right? So, cotton light. Okay. What does that smell remind me of? It's woodsy. It 
It's a little bit of nuttiness. You know, it, this one. <laughs> Have you ever, uh, you know, um, <laughs> had to put someone's shoes away? And it smells like this shoe has the sock stinkiness, but it's not yet stinky. That's what it smells like. It's like good smelling foot. Dry, dry, earthy, cedar. A little bit of white pepper. Let's get this going. Come on, fan. Earthiness, a little bit of mineral, that dryness, barnyard, leather, chili pepper. Oh, that earthiness tastes weird. There's some sweetness trying to work its way through. Can't tell what it is yet. But yeah, there is like this earthiness and this little bit bitterness and the dirt, barnyard, weird flavor, kind of grassy ish thing going on. I'm a little confused. But. It's weird. This cigar extremely soft. Extremely soft. Like, look. It's spongy. Very, very spongy. Now, it's definitely not humidity because I, I left it out. At a 50 degree weather, no rain. It's burning okay, but it's spongy as hell. I don't know why. Well, we'll smoke one third. We'll come back. See what's going on with this uh Ruff of Warvis. Arginer. I already forgot how to pronounce it. Whatever. Be right back. I don't know what happened. This thing is just soft and weird and Burns, he smokes, but it's just weird. But yeah, here we go. First third, the flavor is very earthy. Uh, it's cedar, and it's got this leatheriness that kind of convert to this. How do I describe it? Soda? This, we have this soda called Ramune. And it kind of tastes like the aftertaste of that soda. Or... Yeah, it's like a sweetness to it. There's a sweetness at the end. Um, it it, it, it kind of cross in between a graham cracker-ish, but not there, not creamy enough. 
to be graham cracker sweetness and a soda cream, uh, uh, sweetness. It's kind of like a weird, weird, mild, not really their sweetness. I don't know. And that's pretty much it. Nothing crazy. The pepper is like toned way down. There's like, you know, there's some pepper there, but it doesn't really bother you or anything. And yeah, this construction of the cigar really is like somebody didn't roll this tight enough, but I shouldn't complain because I can smoke it. So that's pretty much it for the first third on this cigar that I can barely pronounce. Well, it is burning funny a little bit. I'm thinking to touch it up and give it another you know, more chance to burn better and give me more flavor. So we'll do that and we'll come back after the two derma. You know, what, what lighter should I use? What is this one? This one doesn't have anything. Okay, put it to the side. Ah, this one works. I just fix it up a little bit. Almost there. All right. Nope. Tastes the same. All right. So we'll be back after two third. All right, two third away. The flavor is just you now. Leathery and woodsy. Pretty much it. Like it's not crazy. And there's some like some like sweetness that just tried to get there, but it's never got there. And I did a little research, tried to find out what this old Skinner guy is. Apparently he used to own and ran CAO. But like he came back and made this cigar uh for like the new thing since 2022. But do you announce your comeback since 2022? Why the hell is your website still not up? I went to OZ Family website and it says website coming soon for a long ass time now. 20, since 2022, man. Come on, seriously? It doesn't take you that long. It just it gives me an understanding of how this guy does things. A whole year and a half and you don't have it done. Come on, man. Come on, man. So... This is the first band. I think the color is supposed to represent a country, but I'm not too sure what that means. So, and it says the, the Bosphorus name on it. There is two, two, I think Amber coin, whatever that is. I think that looks the same as um, his website kind of thing. I can't really see it because it's tiny as hell. You need to like zoom in like this and even that you can't see it. So yeah, it just says, Ozen, Ozen Jenner cigar, family cigar on it. So, I don't know. I don't know. And he's saying that the B-52 is a box press Perdejos. But this thing is so spongy, you can't even tell it's box press. Can you tell that's box press? Does that look like box press to you? Oh, maybe the side you can, but over here you can't. There's no way. There's no way that's box price. It's so spongy and everything. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't give me a good impression of the cigar brand. It doesn't give me a good impression with this cigar. Uh, it feels rough and poorly done for 12 something dollars. No, this is like a six dollar cigar. It's like a six dollar cigar, unfortunately. For someone that ran CAO, you would think that they know how to do it, unless CAO, whoever took over, did a much better job than he did. So that that that's a horrible, 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 horrible way to do this. It's born in Turkey, so I guess there's something representing Turkey. I don't know. Yeah, there's not much of thing to do using the O and Z but then like it wouldn't make sense because 
It doesn't tell anything. There was a Statue of Liberty in the center. I don't see it. I don't... I don't, I, I don't see this. I don't see this. Maybe I use my camera to zoom in. Just so that I can see it. But yeah. Let me finish the last third and we look at... You know what? Let's let's do this bench first. I, I'm, I, I feel like this thing is so insignificant. Insignificant that I will forget. Let's get this done. Because I'm kind of like lost faith in this cigar already. It doesn't taste anything good for that kind of price. It's supposed to be a, like a family that's known, but I don't know. So, all right. I mean, it's the same logo that's on their box, kind of. But like, do you see a Statue of Liberty? I don't see it. Kind of. Maybe in the OZ. But who can see that? I can't see that. But like, there is on, there's a guy and a woman on the other side. I mean, I suppose it represents their family, I guess. Some sh uh, scenery. Uh, let's see if they can, they have say something about that. All right. Uh, the water is... The name Bosphorus refers to the Bosphorus Strait, slim and historically imp important body of water, separate Europe and Asia, located in Turkey. So, yeah. And um, I don't see any other information that makes anything of them that makes sense. Use O and Z for for that, but your name is starts with O. Yeah, they had Z right after, but who does that? That's like me use W and A. It makes no sense, right? Um, no, nothing. Nothing. Yep, cigar is distributed by Crown Heads. That's why I was like, I saw that Crown Head logo on the band. Is it Crown Head? So it is Crown Head. It is Crown Head. But that's the thing, though. Like, you ran a cigar company for this long. You, you should be able to do everything of that on your own, but you end up doing with some other company. That's kind of like, huh? What are you doing? Why? It makes no sense. Makes no sense. So, yeah, that's the band. It looks cool. Yeah, but like, I don't really get the idea of it. Unfortunately. It's hard to say this, but everything about the cigar right now is half-ass to me. Half-ass message, half-ass brand name, half-ass band, half-ass cigar uh, construction, half-ass flavor. Six dollars. Six dollars. And let me finish this up, but let's uh, go to the submarine. Not only I finished it, this thing... No, skip it. I don't know what the hype is. I don't know what's so good about this. There's nothing good about this. The hype is a hype. Uh, uh, because that guy used to run CAO and kind of glad that CAO is held by somebody else now because CAO currently is not that bad. This thing is worse than the current CAO. So at that price range, skip it. Half ass cigar, half ass design, half ass flavor, half ass build quality. Look at look at how spongy this thing is. See that? It's like a bouncy house. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah, it's it's not that good. No. I, I can't believe I wasted an hour on this. That's horrible. Yeah. Skip the cigar. It's not that good. There's nothing to it. Six dollar cigar. I you know, to be honest, I can't even give it six dollars because it wasn't that good. It wasn't. Um burns are actually okay. I only had to touch up one time. And I had to relight it one time. But it's definitely not a humidity issue because I had left it out. I had left it out on a cold day. Not humid at all. Humidity is 64% in my house. Not over humidified. I don't know what's going on. So, not a good cigar. Skip it. Run away as fast as you can. And don't get that. This plenty of cigars is better than that. Ooh. So yeah, that's it for the cigar review. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment and share. And 
I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.